guys, welcome back to Carnival Flick. This week we are going to be doing the 2003 hit for our retro review, Pirates of the Caribbean and the Curse of the Black Pearl. So this movie, when it first came out, I remember this movie very clear because I saw this movie five times. Five times in the theater. I rarely, if I ever go see the movies that many times. I absolutely love this movie. I think it holds up so well, especially the CGI scenes with the skeleton. That was so of its, like, it just started a whole revolution of CGI, I feel like. Kind of. The skeleton scene alone is just so good. But that's just me going on my little tangent. But I wanted to tell you just a quick synopsis of the film. The movie is about Captain Jack Sparrow, played by Johnny Depp. At this time, I did not know who Johnny Depp was. I was probably 12 years old. So I just thought he was some funny guy, actor, dude. I didn't know who he was. He arrives at Port Royal in the Caribbean, and that's where he runs into Will Turner, played by Orlando Bloom, and then Keira Knightley's character, Elizabeth Swan. So there are two. Elizabeth Swan's like part of a royal family. She's in line to marry somebody. Will Turner's like the more poor character in the story, and he's working, trying to figure out where his life is, basically. All of a sudden, Johnny Depp's character arrives in town at the right time when a pirate ship comes and raids the city and raids uh, Carrie Knightley's character's uh, Black, uh, Elizabeth Swan's house and actually try to you know, take her and steal all her valuables. And that's where Will Turner comes in and tries to save the day, but he gets knocked out. That's where he goes and meets Johnny Depp's character, Captain Jack Sparrow, which we all know and love. Elizabeth Swan is in possession of like a coin that she found when she was younger and how she even met Will Turner back when she was very young. And that's what the pirates are after to unleash this curse that they have upon themselves. Jack Sparrow, Will Turner, and Elizabeth Swan all uh, join forces and work together to try to stop the pirates. Me, of course, Jack Sparrow has other motives, so that's what the whole plot of this movie is like about. And it takes you on this grand adventure that was so different at its time. Another fun fact is that I completely forgot about it, not till Brian actually mentioned that Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black uh, Pearl, was actually one of the first PG-13 live action films by Disney, Disney Studio itself. That was a really big at the time. It was all the other films that they've ever put out were PG or G. So that's actually kind of cool. Um, I just remember this movie being so fun and exhilarating. I loved Jack Sparrow. I loved all the characters. This is where I got to know Kara Knightley, and she's a great actress. You know, Elena Bloom, he's been in some pretty stellar movies. He was in Lord of the Rings and then the whole Oh, the Three Pirates franchise is pretty cool. And I'm really excited they're all coming back for the new one. I feel like that was really missed in the fourth one. That's why I don't even consider that one like a part of this little trilogy. Even though The Curse of the Black Pearl is honestly the best one. It kind of goes downhill from there. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I did not like that they split them, the last two up at all. But The Curse of the Black Pearl was just so special and different for its time. It took a ride from Disney World that was very popular and they turned it into a fabulous movie that was just, it was just so much fun, so much fun. Johnny Depp embodied his character as Jack Sparrow and that's where he like came back in his movie career as well because during that time he had a fall and then Pirates came out and then he had a rise. Let's kind of do the same thing. Hopefully, you know, things turn around for him for the new Pirates coming out but yeah. This movie was probably one of my favorite movies for a long time. It really holds dear to my heart just because it was one of my favorites and I just loved the whole story. Just everything about it. it was so inventive and creative at its time. And it's really funny when you look at it. This movie came out in 2003 and then we have the room that's up here that came out in 2003. They're completely on total different spectrums of the movie world. But that's, that's Hollywood. I mean, you put out really crappy movies and then you put out a really, really great movie. I would highly suggest to go watch this film again before the new one comes out because it's so, you just can watch it over and over again. It never gets old. Um, the effects still hold up really well of how they did them because they built large sets and then added CG. So it's not all CGI, which I can't stand nowadays. There's a lot of that going on. So, yeah, I just really recommend to go watch it. It's still one of my all-time favorite movies, I would have to say, just because it's also Disney, but just in the grand scheme of everything, it was, it is just a great film to watch. It's fun. 
I've already said that like multiple times and Johnny Depp is really good in the movie. Alright guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this retro review. If you could, hit the like button down below as well as subscribe. We would appreciate the support. And um, let me know if you're going to go see the new Pirates movie. Are you excited? Did you really love the first one? Did you like the second one? Third one? Fourth one? I'll just throw that out there. Yeah, let me know. And yeah, bye guys.